Hey YouTube friends, today I need to change the oil on my Troy Built Pony 42 riding lawnmower. I'm going to show you how to do it in case you have one of these mowers too. So let's dig in. Old, dirty motor oil can cause excessive wear on your engine and can reduce the lifespan of your riding mower. You should change the oil in your engine at least once a year. If you're using your mower more than four hours a month, then you should probably change it at least twice a year. I like to change mine in the spring right at the beginning of the mowing season, but I'm running a little bit behind this year, and so that's not good for the engine. So let's get to it. Changing the oil on this mower is pretty simple. It doesn't even have an oil filter. The trickiest part is keeping the oil from leaking all over the frame of the mower and getting all over the ground. These lawn mowers are supposed to come with a little plastic funnel that's supposed to funnel the oil from this drain plug, but a lot of times it gets lost by the dealer or the dealer forgets to give it to you, or it gets lost somewhere along the way. I don't have mine, and so there's a little trick that can help you if you don't have one either. Just cut a plastic bottle to make a little trough. This isn't going to keep all of the oil from leaking, but neither does the one that they give you when you buy the mower. But this is going to help. It's going to limit the amount of oil that spills on the frame and gets on the ground. This is really just a bad design. Not only is the spout in a very awkward place with the steering linkage rod right in the way too, why would you make an oil drain on top of the frame like this, where you know when it comes out, it's going to get all over the frame. It's just, it's not smart. Some of the oil is going to spill, I can guarantee it, even using the spout or using this little trick I've got. So I recommend that you park your mower on some flat cardboard. That will catch any of the spilled oil so it doesn't make a, a big, huge mess. Also, you wanna be sure to wipe down any spilled oil off of the frame. I also recommend that you have a good supply of paper towels nearby. You're, you're going to need these to wipe up drips and spilled oil and to wipe up your hands and to clean the dipstick as well. You'll need something to catch the oil that drains out of the engine. Most oil pans won't fit under this lawnmower, but you can make one out of an old milk jug or like me, you can make one out of an old five quart plastic oil container. Place your makeshift oil pan under the oil spout to catch the oil when it comes out. Position the plastic oil drain funnel or your homemade one under the drain plug and feed it under the steering linkage rod as well. Did I already tell you that this is an awful design? Remove the yellow filler cap on top of the engine, then use a half inch wrench or an adjustable crescent wrench to loosen the drain plug, which is just down from the yellow oil filler cap down at the bottom of the engine, right above the frame. When the oil starts to come out, make sure that it is draining into the oil pan and not all over your driveway. Once all the oil drains out, 
Put the drain plug back in. Now it's time to add fresh oil. You'll need 44 ounces of 5W30 motor oil. Now oil like this comes in either 38 ounces a quart or it comes in a big five quart container. So you're just gonna have to figure out how it works best for you to manage that. I'm going to add uh, uh, 38 ounces from this quart container and then I'm gonna guesstimate adding another six ounces and then I'm gonna check the oil level with the dipstick to make sure that it reads in the acceptable range. Put the oil filler cap back on and now we are done. Time to clean up all of that oil that spilled all over your cardboard. Be sure to dispose of oil properly. You can usually take it to your local auto parts dealer or you can take it to, like me, you can take it to a recycle center where I take my trash every week and they have a receptacle to recycle oil. It's important to take care of your mower and do regular maintenance so that you can extend the life of your mower. It's even more important to take care of yourself. Listen, you can't help anyone else and you can't be a productive member of society if you are not taking care of yourself. You won't be any good to your friends, your family, your spouse, your kids, your coworkers if you are not taking care of yourself and you end up breaking down yourself. So you've got to take care of yourself. Are you taking care of your physical health by eating right, exercising, and getting an annual checkup? Are you doing regular spiritual maintenance through prayer, Bible study, and worship to make sure that you are tending to your mental and spiritual health? Now, these are things that may not seem urgent, and it can be very tempting to skip them. But taking care of yourself is very important. If you go without them for too long, you will break down for sure. Take care of your lawnmower but be sure to take care of yourself too. Now let's get out there and let's grow and be fruitful.